Okay, so now that our weapon has been dismantled by the boss and that she shot that drone to hell and that at uh some guards are probably gonna come looking for us rather shortly. Let's check our map. Currently we're facing south. We landed in a small clearing to the to the west of the area where we landed in Sni in um the virtuous mission actually. So you'll notice those guards are gonna come looking for us from the north. Gonna spy that drone and fan out after they call back up. So I think a good thing to do might be just to kinda leave this area and wait until the heat cools down, so to speak. So let's head south back towards where we landed uh where we first arrived on the virtuous mission. After cutting through here, um there's kind of a hmm. There's Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know where we are now. Right. Okay, okay. Um, just got just turned around there for a second. There's a caroton behind this tree. If you want to go ahead and... It almost looks like you could kick it. Almost. But um, if you don't have a gun on you, as you want at this point, you'll probably need to double back for them and get them after you've obtained a weapon. Unless you're feeling particularly lucky with a grenade. You can nail it that way, too. Crocodile. Alright, so let's keep heading back further towards that cliffside. Scaring up some birds as we run. Okay, so in this area, um, let's see here. In, th in this area, now, we'll just take a quick look around. There's that tree where we got our backpack from. Go ahead and crawl under this log here. Not press up against it. Not press up against it. No! Stop it! Ugh. Hold on. Grr. I will not fall for your wiles once more, Log. Okay. <laughs> we made it. Hey, there's a goat. Hi, goat. Um. Hmm. Alright, first things first. Um. If you hop up on this log right here, there's uh, a mushroom in front of you. I believe that's the Ural Nescent Mushroom. I'm wrong. That is actually the Russian Oyster Mushroom. Now, hmm, this goat here, um, shoot, uh, yeah, it'll headbutt you and kick you. What's your problem, goat? Ugh, die. There we go. Um, so that's a Markor. Um, there's a Eastern European rabbit right here. Oh, and if you're good enough, you can also kick a snake along with it. Two for the price of one there. And find some grenades. Okay, so let's go into our backpack and pull out those grenades real quick. Equip them. And then head back towards that little area. We're clearing with the, uh... Yeah, there's the caraton up on the ledge. And then, boom! So yeah, if you trust your aim with the, um, grenades, you can do it that way. If not, you'll have to wait until you've secured a weapon and then double back for these. Uh, 
Alright, so let's head back north through the Dramuchi Swampland. I will meet you right back on the other side of this area. Okay, so we're back here in Dramuchi North now. Um, heading towards the area where the drone was. So there will be guards, guards patrolling this area now. And we are unarmed. So... Well, ideally, just want to sneak past them. Let's go ahead and change our camo. Um, go, go ahead and put on Flectarn. Best camo for this area. As well as the Woodland Face Paint to get our camo gauge up to 90. Now, the directional microphone can also really come in handy when scouting throughout this area. Um, amplify sound sources in front of your microphone. And I hear footsteps. So there's got to be guard just in the north of us here. No, that's not a guard, that is a bird. Let's see. Oh, but I do hear footsteps. There he is, off in the distance there. Let's curve around to the right and um, go ahead and, and uh, climb up this tree here. And if you look to your left, there's the Keraton for this area. You know, the, the, the Keraton were in different positions during the Virtuous mission, so that kind of means that somebody must be actively running around throughout this forest, moving them, or like placing new ones or something. Kinda weird. Alright, so there's a guard up ahead of us. So, let's wait for him to get a little farther away, then we're gonna crawl in between the bushes here. In, in between the long grass, rather. And now, don't sit up! Okay. Let's just keep heading north. Okay, and we should be clear. That other guard is off to our left a ways, so... Let's go ahead and run into Delanovadno. The bridge area, where last time we were here, we were so rudely thrown over the edge. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Um, so, what you, what I like to do with this guard here is just slide down that hill, stock up behind him, and then when you get close, just go ahead and hit circle to CQC him. Now, I've got him restrained. Let's drag him back a ways. And then, as long as you you know, keep the circle button held down. He'll keep the pressure on his neck till he passes out. So that guard will be unconscious for a little while. Let's keep heading north. Cross the bridge here. And, um... You come up to this... hillside. Up on top of there is the Keraton for this area this time around. So, there is another guard to our left. Um, if we run up here, just more or less do this, the exact same thing we did with the other guard. <coughs> Only the noise he makes is a lot funnier. <coughs> okay, just drag him back. 
Wait till he passes out. Okay. Um. Then just hug the wall. I said that there would have been an M16 here during the Virtuous mission. Um. But you would have gotten gotten it, then promptly lost it as soon as you met, met up with Sokolov. So. However, this time around, there is a camouflage raindrop camo. Check that out real quick. Effective in the rain. That makes sense. Nice. There, were, Yes, there are additional camouflages that you can pick up during this game, and I will be showing you where all of those are as well. However, let's keep Flecked Iron equipped for the time being. And let's get out of here, head north into Rasvet. Okay, so we're back in Rasvet now. There's no one around due to the radiation on the area, so we can just run through here. And if we run up this set of stairs here, there's something at the top. Yeah, on that box right there, we have an AK-47. Let's go ahead and go into our backpack and equip that. Cool, now we have a gun again. Not silenced or anything, mind you, but at least, at least it's something. And um, if, you, if you look under these stairs here, in, in between these little... Uh, metal cylinders. There's the keraton for this area. Now if you look... I'm oh, sorry, no, it's not on this. On this. Um, send this next area over. There's... some crates, and on top of those crates it has a cardboard box. Oh yes, cardboard box. Um, oh, right. Go into our backpack. Pull, pull that out. Let me deselect a few things here that we aren't going to use. Um, yeah, take take that off. All right. And there's kind of a funny conversation if you call Sigint while I'm wearing this this cardboard box. Okay, anyway, let's head into the room where we met Sokolov. In this locker, immediately to the left, is a pair of thermal goggles. You definitely want to pick this up. You'll feel like this is so helpful. It's one of the most useful items in the game. So, go ahead and pick those up. Equip them. And obviously it displays heat sources, so we can see guards, enemy guards a lot better, even, even if they're hidden in grass and things like that, so that's great. And let's leave. Only to run into... what's going on here? Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! your own. 
The name's Eva. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. 
It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Oh. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry! Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. this to get to the basement. Damn it! I saw a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe, like this is where I was meant to be, like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh-huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box, then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. 
Between you and Paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with a Major Strange? Uh. Yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. <laughs>